Okay, so so I am switching over to demo. So this is the Symphony software. It is our single pane of glass, managing the whole set of devices. So we cover the 7700, 7300, our older set of devices, and also in this latest release, we are adding VMware integration. So Symphony software. Uh, will act as a vCenter plugin as well as a VASA provider. Right? Somebody earlier asked what's a VASA, uh, right? So uh, we'll rush through this. So this is a dashboard which is totally customizable. Um, uh, we ship with some canned versions, but user can configure their own dashboard, drag and drop whatever the gadgets he wants to, and they can customize it to any way they want, right? So we provide you a very rich, rich library of gadgets. Okay. Um, this all the layout is saved per user, so uh, a different user can have his own different layout. Okay, um, so you can flip through and you change whatever thing is required. Okay, uh, let me switch over to the other topics I want to cover. So it's a single pane of glass. So on the left hand side, we have all the set of devices being managed in your data center. Okay, and we can handle anywhere from single device to hundred devices. Okay. At a very high level, you will see how much IOPS are going, if the device has any kind of alerts, how much is the space getting utilized, and so on. Right? So as a, you can span through it and see. Then you click through it, and you see all the details about the device. Right? So specifically in this device, we inserted an alert. So user gets alerted to as when bad things are happen, or we are monitoring the, the health of the devices, right? as well as um, the service level agreemental, whether the IOPS is right, whether the latency is right, so we do all the performance monitoring. Okay. Um, so quickly going through the rules which are built into the system, we have built-in health rules which monitor the different characteristics, like what is the Vim lifetime, how many fans are up and running, what is the temperature of the things. So all the hardware oriented health of the system, we monitor it at a continuous basis. So this is done at every 10 second interval. Okay. Then we have another set of alerting, which is performance based alerting. You can track what is your latency, what is your IOPS, and you can do this at a very modular level. Right? You can do it at a LUN level, you can do it at a whole device level, you you can do it at a device group level. Okay? And in the notification mechanism, you can send out as and when bad things happen, you can get um, e email notification, instant message notification on your cell phone, or an SNMP trap. Right? So we, so we fully integrate into the customer environment. As an authentication mechanism in the customer environment, we integrate in their email servers and SNMP servers, as well as Active Directory and LDAP. Right? So that covers all the authentication needs. Right? Um, it's a single place, um, uh, place where you can define, um, you can create your LUNs, right? So I'll just go through a sim simple flow of creating a LUN. You just pick which kind of LUN you want, dedupe thick thin, because our uh, boxes sub support multiple mixed deployment workloads. And as you click through it, the different parts of the screen changes. Right? So. It is a single click. You can create one LAN or hundreds of LANs with a single dialog box. Okay. Um, so a couple of other areas we want to cover. There were some more areas in Symfony. I will show some of the VMware integration stuff. Um, actually, let me first uh, cover one box where we are <laughs> sending a very high level sustained workload. Okay. So this is in a production box where we are sending 1.1 million IOPS at lo less than 400 millisecond latency. So this and is this a is a sustained performance which is going on. Right? It is going on for days and days. Okay. So you see no dip in the performance. Okay. So at 1.1 million IOPS, less than 400 millisecond, uh, microsecond latency. <coughs> okay. So just briefly covering the VMware integration. Okay. We can monitor your data store, manage your data store, as well as create data store setting, uh, um, sitting from the vCenter itself. Right? So here I'm, um, so let's go to the monitor of the data store. Okay. So we uh, the Symphony is a single piece of software which will be a standard console as well as a pluggable thing. Right? So here from the vCenter, we have a left hand side all the data stores which are available. You can pick any data store, and you see while memory specific features getting integrated in vCenter itself. Right? So you can monitor how the performance is for my data store. 
if you want to manage a data store, let's say you want you have a data store and you want to increase the capacity, just type in a new capacity, it will dynamically expand the data store. Right? It is all integrated into it. As well as if you want to create a new data store, okay, um, you can simply right click and you say I want to create a new data store. We have full knowledge about all the ESX servers as well as all the flash arrays which you are managing. Right? So we have knowledge about both the sides. With a single click, you can say which ESX host I want the data store to be created, as well as from which array or which storage pool. Okay. We create it on the array, we export it, create a data, uh, like scan it on the ESX server, have the create data store all within the single dialog box. Can you do that at the cluster level or just the host level? Uh, so, uh, so it what it will do is the moment it is the VMF is, is created, it gets exported to multiple clients, like multiple ESX host, mm -hmm. and it will become visible on all of them. Okay. Okay. Um, the other piece of VMware integration we do is the VASA support. Okay. So our storage array, you can define the policies and advertise different capabilities. Right. The lands are so of different types. So you do VASA 2.0 support. Yes. Yeah. So, so here we have set up something already. We have created some storage policies, okay. And as so, you can go. To, okay, uh, click on the first one. Okay. So, so let's say we have a mixed of data stores which are available, based on this specific storage policy showing which are the compatible data stores and which are not. Okay. okay. So these storage policies are already created. And it is very flexible depending on the customer environment. You can have things like the type of LAN, the, the features, whether snapshotting is running, whether replication is running. You can have a mix and match of the capabilities advertised. Then later on, so this is kind of showing you the list of you can add your storage, VASA capability storage policies right, to advertise the capability. Then you go back to uh, the, the vCenter. And as you provision no, new VMs, so let's say I want to provision a new VM. Okay. Okay. So you just give it a name and which data center you want to create at. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Now while picking the storage, right? So you have a default storage, or you can whatever the VASA you have configured, you can pick the storage policy. Right, so you can click on that, and it'll show all the compatible data stores <coughs> which are matching this capability. Right, so we do very uh, good tricks behind the scenes to map from the data stores and the LANs and map the things together, and have it wired all the way through. <laughs> so I kind of rushed through Symphony. There were a lot of other features where you can create scheduled reports, you can create portals, and Analytics. Yeah. And anal analytics. So all of our reports at any point uh, can be PDF generated, CSV generated, or you can schedule a report. It will, let's say, every half an hour, every 10 minutes, right? It will send it out as PDF attachment, CSV attachment. And also a very unique thing is we can publish all our reports on a portal. So you can create a portal. Somebody who has access to the Symphony software can go and see everything. But let's say somebody, you, a read-only user, he just interested in reports how my things are here, right? So we'll, it's similar to Google Docs. You can write a doc and expose it, and whoever has access to the link can see the reports. Right? So we can publish all our things on a portal. Okay. And okay, I saw you can email reports. Can you email links to the portal? Yes. Because I don't want to clutter up my Exchange yes. server. Yeah. So uh, all you get is this. For example, this uh, I think we didn't export anything. So this is the link to the portal. Okay. So I as a email, when you get right, you can just have a link and you click on that, and you directly land into the report, which has been published on the portal. Okay. So um, so for example, this is a portal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right.